Hi guys, I'm Shmi. We're in Miami for the 2014 Gumball 3000 Supercar Rally. I'm joining up this year with Team Wolfpack, who have some epic cars on the rally, as well as undergoing a series of YouTube challenges with the Gumball 3000 channel. So we're in for an epic adventure. We're kicking off here tomorrow from Ocean Drive, South Beach, Miami, heading up to Atlanta for an epic festival before we go into New York. We're then flying from New York over to Scotland, starting in going through Edinburgh, London, Paris, Barcelona to the final party in Ibiza. So Miami to Ibiza, the proper party rally. We're on the grid today, the cars are just coming out and getting ready for registration. You have to bring your car here before you head back to get signed up. So some of the cars and teams are here already. Some of them are still on their way coming through customs into Miami, so there's a lot going on. The cars are arranged on the grid based on the donations the teams made or raised for the Gumball Foundation, giving money to a series of charities. There are clearly still quite a few to arrive. We can hear an Aventador revving down there. But there are plenty more cars still to come in. The Team Galag Tumblr has been shrunk here. We get a little bit further, we've got all their other cars, which are really cool. Well-known Gumball entrance, always up for a lot of fun. And here is their McLaren P1. Lots of ridiculously cool cars on this grid. We'll keep heading down, take a little look at a few more. Some cars here go to serious efforts to be here. We've got an R8 from Russia, particularly like this Ford GT, but wait until I show you the number plates around the back. He's even put Miami to Ibiza. Check out that effort. A couple of Arbaths here. Arbath are heavily involved in the rally. Loads of other interesting cars just rolling by while we're here in the grid. But this 458 Spider is of particular interest. It belongs to Joel Zimmerman. Probably you know him as Dead Mouse, the Ferrari. Come down the front, it has a prancing cat badge, even the Ferrari badge on the front. Tons of celebrities involved in this year's rally, so hopefully we'll catch up with some of them as we go. Keep swinging down the grid a little bit more, see if I can get around everybody who's standing here. It's pretty busy, needless to say, the Wraith. That's probably a pretty comfortable and fun way to do the rally, I'd imagine. And here we have my friend's GTR that we're going to be using to cover this part of the rally in the USA. The Nissan GTR 700 horsepower remap, wrapped satin blue, looking absolutely awesome. We're going to be filming everything. We've got the Miami Vice Shmi 150 Media Crew vinyls on the car. So we're going to be catching up with the Wolfpack cars in a GTR of our own before we get over to the UK where we'll be jumping inside my McLaren 12C that you can see wrapped up over there, waiting for us in Scotland when we get over there. The first of the Wolfpack cars for this year, the Ferrari 458 Italia Spider. All of the cars in the team are finished in a wrap design very similar to this. The theme for the year is Miami Vice, so lots of the cars have this sort of look, pink, blue, stripes, bright colors. The Wolfpack cars, though, have a little twist. The purple you see on this 458 is actually super reflective. So if you take a photo of the car with a flash on, all you see is the color popping back at you. So all the cars have a very cool design and they're totally awesome in photos. So we'll just take a quick look at the other cars that are here already. 458 looks very good though. So on the grid, we also have the McLaren 12C Spider, looking awesome in the light blue, but making me super jealous that we're only picking up my McLaren when we get over to Scotland. And then in front of that, we have the new Dodge Viper. So there are a few other cars still to join. When we get over, we've also got the GTR and Josh Cartoo's Ferrari F12. Looks absolutely awesome for the final part of the journey, Miami to Ibiza. And then we'll end there and it will be absolutely epic. Also, while we're here, this is the new Dodge that's being driven by Richard Rawlins from Fast and Loud, the TV show. So that's pretty cool, Gas Monkey Garage. But we'll just take a quick look at what else is here because we do need to head off and get ourselves registered for this year's rally and signed in. So let's take a quick look down and go look at all the other cars. Loads of cars going past and people getting in the spirit with all the cars around us here. How's it going? You good? Good, good. Nice Hi, to nice to meet you. Me. Yeah, yeah. I'm aware. Liberty Walk sad. Liberty Walk <laughs> new Gumbo rally this year. Uh, the drive is good. Anywhere bus traffic would be great. I love this. You know what? It's the bar by the bar. You know what? You're like, what are we looking at? 
just a, a sack of shit on here for six monsters in it. So we're actually like, like the last No, but you know what? Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 so we're. Uh, so you're telling the world how fast you're going, where you're doing it. So when you're going, when you're pushing 200 miles an hour, everyone's going to know where, where you are. Only if we want to show <laughs> that big red button there? Yes. Oh, you <laughs> Nice quick chat there with Dead Mouse, Joel Zimmerman. He's going to be playing the party tonight in Miami, which is pretty cool, as well as doing the rally himself. Very nice guy, too. So, uh, uh, but it's all going to kick off here tomorrow morning at the start line on Ocean Drive, South Beach, Miami. Here we are in the gifting suite, then registration for Gumball 3000. We kicked off the first station dealing with contracts, picking up our wristbands for the rally. We've got a bag of stuff. We've already got brochures and keychains. Now we're gonna head over here. Oh, we have to do insurance next, make sure all that stuff's done. We're gonna head here now, sign the flag. It's going up charity auction. Grab the pen. Where are we going? Find a gap anywhere. This is really busy already. All the teams already signed on here. Let's squeeze in here. Next up, we've got the Gumball 3000 t-shirts. So, Gumball 3000 t-shirts. This is perfect. This is, this is very in theme. Yes, fantastic. So, I'm heading along. Next up, we've got Team Pet Safe Stuff. Backpack, fantastic. In the bag, oh, we're getting too full. We always start the rain. This is year five. No, it's gonna rain. The forecast is rain. Hope not. So where do we head next? In the corner we've got top trumps. Grab back one of the top trumps. And then we're round two. There's a lot of stuff in here. Next up, we've got the gas monkey garage. We have a large, large is quite perfect. Stages to go. You see, everybody's getting registered. We actually got the team all pack guys right in front. Next time, we've got Team Guy. Team Galeg always put on a spectacular showing at the uh, Gumball, so good stuff from them. Head up to one or two more stands. What do we have next? We have a super Yeah. Inside is your Miami Bumpy is on the run. Nice, that's all here. Wicked, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. So, last up. Hi there. So, what we have for you is iPhone 5 NFC case and the official driver app. So, you're going to install this on your phone. You're going to get private information about what's going on at each stop, your directions, where to go. You can also fill out your driver profile, and you'll be able to program NFC tag and NFC bracelet. It can be used by the staff to check you in and out. Um, you can share with social media. So, uh, gifting suite at this year's Gumball Rally. Heaps of stuff. Um, we're going to go through it all. And uh, we're going to be out on the rally. 
Good morning. Today is the day we head from Miami up to Atlanta. The start flag will drop on Ocean Drive. The cars that hadn't yet made it yesterday are now here, so we're going to head in for the driver's briefing before we go over to the grid and get ready for everything to set off. We've been given the route card. We get one of these everywhere we go. So today, for the route, we've got the driver's briefing now, and then we've got to stop at Daytona Speedway on the way towards Atlanta. We had a little bit of fun last night when the Phantom wasn't here. The guys made up an invisible car. I'm not gonna have to end up driving an invisible car. <laughs> you can tell though that last night's party was pretty good. I'm already losing my voice. We had Dead Mouse and Tiny Temp, a tons of epic parties coming up, especially tonight in Atlanta. But we've got these cars, the Phantom Coupes here, the Brabus 6x6, everybody's gonna be heading over to the grid. But let's head in now for the driver's briefing. First off, I think I've met most of you, but if I haven't met you, I'm Maximilian. It's, it's, uh, it's my event, I'm the host. It's the 16th year of Cobble this year. A little thing. So first of all, as you know, this, over this next seven days, we're driving from Miami to Ibiza. An incredible adventure through, uh, through several countries, through seven key cities around the world. And, and um, we're pretty much locking down each city center, closing the streets down, putting on a music concert most nights. We've got Tony Hawk doing skateboard demos in, in uh, different cities as well. Again, just to repeat, the key thing for me is making sure you get to Ibiza safely. So let's have a great gumble. Give us a cheer. Driver's briefing down and we've now got these school buses to take us over to the grid. Coming a little bit behind schedule. Some of the cars are heading over, but we're going to get in the taxi, I think, just to get there a bit quicker. Go do a quick grid walk. the grid and it's absolutely boiling here in Miami. Most of the cars are here. The drivers are arriving from the hotel on the school buses. We're all getting ready. There's a lot of atmosphere, loads of people, loads of fans. Gumball starts from Ocean Drive this morning. Everybody's getting ready. Hopefully we'll catch some stuff before we go, jump in the car and get on our way. Just doing the press call behind me, so Dead Mouse, Tiny Temper, Exhibit, all the celebrities taking part in this year's rally. We're gonna go on a quick tour around the grid and check out all the cars taking part. Starting off in first place with the Velvet Rolls-Royce Phantom. Next up, we have the Audi R8. Nice old Jag. We're gonna keep going through, take a look at all the cars, the Brabus 6x6. Keep going through, have a look at everything. It's very loud, very busy, very exciting for this year's rally. Brabus EV12. Got the Brabus EV12, Brabus S Class Range Rover, bright blue chrome Corvette Stingray, 458 Street Art, G Wagon, we've got the Team Gallag Baby Tumbler, a bit different from last year with the full one, but it couldn't make it to the grid, unfortunately. Weisman and all of the Team Gallag cars, Shelby Daytona. If we keep coming down, we've also got Baron P1. Ah, here we've got June Olsen, famous pro skier. Let's see if we can squeeze on. No, 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 no. It, it, it comes nothing close. I thought you guys have started running. Ferrari F12. Yeah. The end of the first section. Second paddock, this is hilariously busy. Ford GT, Audi R8, Miami Vice, Arbats, RS7. I might try and squeeze down the right here. Just get through, it's pretty busy. This 458 Dead Mouse put on an awesome party for the start party last night, the Ferrari. Very cool. Obviously, Dead Mouse yeah. himself around right now, Range Rover. Yeah, let's keep going. Stingray off on this side, a very nice new Wraith. <laughs> Comfortable, fast way to do gumble. Pink Porsche 911. Is that a turbo? I think so. I can't get around that side. I'll have to come around here. Squeeze it through. LP 560 Spider. GTR, we're driving. Team Wolf back. Very nice, bright blue 458 Spider here. Keep coming down to the back half of this grid. A few more cars. We've shuffled out a little bit. Bentley Continental GTC here. See everybody's literally locking and loading, getting ready to roll on this year's Gumball Rally. So we've got the Ghost right here, very nice. It's Miami Vice theme, bright pink, bright blue. The way to go, then we've got the Flying Spur right here from New York. A very bright pink 458 Spider, followed by a team from California with a matte black FF and a matte black Aventador. They were revving up and spitting some flames yesterday, so I'm sure they're going to have a pretty fun gumball. Uh, that's that section of the grid. We'll head down into the next. 
Next up, we're going to have some of the Team Wolfpack cars. We've got the Dodge Viper in orange here, looking pretty awesome. Not Wolfpack, but a very nice Union Jack F-Type. Wolfpack McLaren 12C, looking awesome. And we have Richard Rawlings from Fast and Loud's Dodge. He's been making a little smoky 11s with that, having a lot of fun. Just a Range Rover. Some interviews going on, Richard Rawlings himself there. Let's come on. We have the Wolfpack 458 here. You can tell it's busy down here on the grid. The Miami Vice SL55. Photo shoots, things going on everywhere. 458 Spider. Rentec, CLS, AMG. It's been driven by Dainton and Pritch Pritchard. I say Dainton's actually filming there. Ferrari F40, that's an epic car. Keep coming down, going past everyone. Escalade, well, you know they're going to be taking all the luggage. <laughs> A few more, and lots of music playing. So then we've got a Mercedes ML. We keep coming down, this is like Mercedes Alley. We've got two SLSs here, Goldwing doors up. And behind that, I think a 430 Scuderia. Let's keep going past matching SLSs. It must be a matching team. All the sponsors' logos on all the cars. And then down here we've got the 430 Scuderia. Let's jump into the next paddock. So what do we have in the next paddock? Fisker Karma, McLaren 650S. Yes, anyone on the grid? Love that. We've got a Ferrari F12 that's come from Lebanon. Good effort to those guys. A bunch of Arbaths. Arbath are sponsoring the event. FF 911 Turbo, please keep squeezing through. Through here we've got some other Arbas, Panamera, new Lexus, I believe. LP560, very Miami Vice, 911 Turbo, new one, 991. And behind that we've got an R8 from Russia, DVS Volante, very nice, more Escalades. The other Team Wolfpack McLaren has been a bit of a last minute addition to the grid, but at least it's here. We've got the car ready and raring to go. Go on, guys. And even slightly vinyled up. That's an impressive last minute addition. We've got this Escalade. And down here, the back of the pack, starting off, we have Mercedes A45 Edition 1. Press call has just taken place and the flag is soon to be waved. And we're going to watch all of the cars getting underway. Give it a 
for car number 23, McLaren. Kevin and Derek from America. Team number 20 from the Netherlands. Give it up for team 20. Have fun, guys. Here we go. Give it up for car 69. Time for a drug. Once again, if you're just joining us. Jump on board the GTR and go across the start line. of Miami and the Wolf Pack is gathering. We're driving together from here, so 458s at the back, Range Rover, McLaren, Viper, media car up front, which is waiting for the other McLaren to get here. And the Wolf Pack's gonna be underway. checkpoint then the Daytona International Speedway all the cars are here we're quite late down the pack because obviously we watched everything leave from the start but it's pretty cool to be here right up amongst it the Velvet Phantom has set off first this morning and everything else loads of cars loads of people lots of fans as well around which is all absolutely awesome naturally the cars here are just heading out for a parade lap so we'll just try and catch them all as they head out past us are all lined up then to go out for the first parade lap we're gonna go and jump into our GTR should be our 50 media car and go out for the lap
out from the parade lap. The Team Wolfpack cars are all here, so we're going to be driving off from here together, which is going to be a lot of fun. Let's get back on the road after lunch. <laughs> for the Wolfpack to get on the road. going on we'll use this opportunity just to catch up with a few things so first up this is Jimmy GTR Jimmy on Instagram this is his car we're using over here also we've got my co-driver Jason uh, who's in the shop at the moment but we'll introduce him in a moment 12c sounds so good I want I want mine back but uh, it's pretty good being in the GTR this thing's really quite quick Thank had you. it for a year or so I think yeah a year or so Fine. but uh, it's pretty good for this the back we were a little bit worried about what the back's gonna be like <laughs> but uh, we're what five or six hours in now we're doing yeah. all right yeah. I mean the only problem I've got is my voice still <laughs> yeah well but, uh, yeah, the bump the in the head every time all right all right and uh, Jason's back so this is Jason you might remember he was with me last year on the gumball um, he's right. gonna be coming over to Europe as well Jimmy will take his car back home but uh, yeah it's normally him shoving cameras in people's faces and getting all the stuff we need and making this video so uh, these are Team Shmi, if you will, I guess, for this. Team Shmi. Uh, <laughs> Team Shmi. Team Shmi, part of Team Wolfpack. Woo! But uh, yeah, filling up here. Hopefully get back on the road again in a moment. So one more thing, the Shmi 150 logo, like the Miami Vice logo, made by Sully's Detailing. We have actually also put on some t-shirts. So for the very first time, we have Shmi 150 t-shirts. We only got a few, we're gonna give them out to select fans as we go, guys who sort of really follow Shmi 150 stuff and on the back, Miami to Ibiza, so who knows? You might be one of the guys who gets one of those. We've got a pretty full boot, but at least it works in the GTR. Anyway, I think it's pretty much time to get back on the road. The cars are all full and crawling forwards.
So if you didn't know what Gumball was and you were into cars, this is when you'd have a moderate heart attack if you bumped into this. The Wolfpack team and the Galag team all pulled into one gas station together. So uh, we've got about 10 or 15 cars or something all just uh, filling up casually. P1 here, absolutely awesome. So cool seeing that out on the road. Loving the wraps. I'm going to see them at night a little bit later, see how the colours bounce, but uh, that's really, really cool. And naturally, lots of other people have come out, but we've still got a couple of hours to go into Atlanta where there's a little bit of a weather warning, so we're not quite sure what it's going to be like there. There might be some tornadoes and stuff, but we'll see, and hopefully, all will be well. Because you're getting more attention than half the celebrities out here, Shmi. We're here then on the grid in Atlanta and I'd just like to say a very big thank you to everyone there because that was absolutely phenomenal. I knew there was going to be some good support in the US but you guys here have been brilliant, that was amazing and uh, so much fun. I hope I was able to meet a good number of you out here but uh, we're in the grid now. Um, we've had a really long day today coming down from Miami to Atlanta. All the cars are lined up, but this is where it gets really cool because right up near the front here, so here we have the Scottish Phantom Coupe who is leading the front of the grid. We've been allowed to park right up the front because of how many fans are here to see the uh, Schmiemobile GTR we're using for this rally here. So that was wicked, guys. Thank you again very much. Uh, it's been really hot today, especially out of Daytona, so you have to excuse me for being a little bit, little bit out of it. But uh, we've got another good night of entertainment tonight before we get back on the road tomorrow. Really long leg up to New York, stopping off at Charlotte um, on the way up. Uh, so I think that's going to be pretty good fun before we get the flight over to Europe. But for the first day of the Gumball, what a day. So much fun driving with the Wolfpack guys, all the crew, and then even hooking up with Galag as well, Team Galag and the P1 on the way back. But we're going to be driving with Wolfpack all the way through. And then when we get over to Europe, hooking up with Josh Cartu, my friend from last year. Loads of good times ahead, I'm sure. But day one has been absolutely epic. Thank you again to everyone here. Good morning, second day of Gumball, and you'd think being an early start that we'd be one of the first out, but it looks like everyone's already gone, so we've got some catching up to do. We're going to jump in the car, get on the road. A good number of people turned out for the start today. Hey! Hey! <laughs>
at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Loads of cars here, loads of people. I'm in the back again, which seems to be the way we're doing this, but next time not. But a couple of people are shouting out. Nice to see the guys here. They're parking up and going in and having a look. How's it going, guys? How are you doing, man? Woo! 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 Welcome to QC, baby! Nice, nice to be here. We need a sunroof. Stand out. The F40's tucked up over there. Sweet. Pretty nice lunch here in the NASCAR Hall of Fame, but we're going to head back outside and get ready for a very long drive from here to New York. Oh, I got my arm around me. I bet that's what he wants. What's your name? Kevin. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Dude, you don't have very many. <laughs> 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 so awesome. Dude, I'm so happy. Going well here on the grid, having lots of fun, people around, sunshine. Pritchard up to God knows what, walking around and not very much as usual. Lots of the cars getting ready to head out though, which we're going to be doing shortly. But, uh, this is this is just weird, this is just gumball. So many people got, got speeding tickets on the way here. Um, but we're back with the Wolfpack. Back and ready, and it's going to be absolutely insane. We're all ready to hit the road. We're going to go and do today's challenge, though, with Gumball, which is pretty cool. So, to check all of those out on the Gumball channel, all the cars are here. Hopefully, we'll catch the wolf pack on the way from here to New York. It's a long drive, nine hours, but let's go jump in the car and get underway. skyscrapers everywhere it's almost like we've got a little police escort going on right here but uh, we've had a 16 hour drive today it's been incredibly long um, everybody's absolutely exhausted but we're nearly here at South Sea South Street Seaport which is where the grid is seeing some exciting stuff although uh, Instagram's down right now so we're all struggling to follow what's going on but we're looking forward to getting there and seeing what it's like here in New York How's it going? Good man. So nice How's it going? So we're here in the New York grid. Loads of people here. Thank you to everyone for coming. Thanks, guys. So much fun. But uh, it's been a really, really long day. Yeah. So here we are. Thank you. But like, look over here. The Wolfpack guys. Look at the jackets they're wearing. Full on Tron F. Check that out. Wicked day. Good to see all the cars here. But I'll uh, go off and speak to a few more people, I think. Oh my god! Hold up! We made it! Now I gotta take the car to the airport before they take off. What a fantastic reception here in New York. Thank you to everyone. Well, everyone in the whole USA, Miami, Atlanta, New York. It's been absolutely brilliant and the checkpoints too. But tomorrow starts a whole new adventure. A load of the cars have already gone. Hey guys! have already gone over to the airport because they're being flown over to Scotland tomorrow afternoon we also fly um, and then we've got the whole European leg to go so we'll be jumping over to McLaren but Jimmy's gonna leave us here now because he's gonna take their car back home but again today has been ridiculously long ridiculously tiring we've got a big party tonight because we've got to lie in tomorrow Good morning, today is the day we fly to Scotland. We're at JFK, Gumball Air, everyone's just checking in. It's so cool, they've even gone Gumball 3000, Miami to Ibiza. It's pretty much a competition today to stick a tag everything you can, so I think JFK is about to see Gumball, 
team stickers, team Wolfpack stickers and everything everywhere, which is going to be hilarious. We're going to be on the flight, it's about seven hours over, uh, 777, the cars have already got on a flight, they're on their way over to Scotland, so they land before us so they can get customs cleared into Scotland. We're going to get on the flight, there's a gumball challenge today, we've had gumball challenges every day, which is really cool, so we'll talk through those a little bit more, but everyone's just checking in, getting through, and we'll go head on through security. Kennedy Airport, New York, into Preswick, Scotland. Right, it's Gumball! just about the most chaotic flight I've ever been on in my life. Gumball Air has touched down in Scotland. We've even got bagpipes playing. What an epic adventure this really is. Because today we've got a whole new journey to Edinburgh, then Manchester, then London. Uh, hopefully a quick turnaround before then. But uh, this is entertaining. The 747 planes are just over there that brought the cars over. I believe the cars are around the corner, so we should see all of those pretty shortly. But let's head in, get through the airport and get to the Macaro. Here we are, and this is absolutely phenomenal. All of these cars have just come off the two 747s there, flown in from New York. So much awesomeness just here. Uh, we'll be going back over to my McLaren in a moment. Show you the stickers on that. Wow, just wow. All set up then, and a bit more freebie stuff. Cap, shirts, battery energy drinks. This is all about freebies. We've got so much more stuff now that we started out this adventure with. We can head back over towards the car park. And the McLaren 12C Schmimobile. Stick it up, Miami Vice style. A bit dirty from the drive up in the wet yesterday. We've got the uh, Team Wolfpack logo, Schmimobile 150 logos. All ready for a bit of fun from here down towards London. Let me stop off at Manchester. So we're going to get ourselves over towards the grid in Edinburgh. Refreshed up for the day.
little bit behind the pack, so we've got a little bit of catching up to do. Take it steady though, first little bit in England, and especially after seeing that police helicopter in the skies before. But uh, we're on the way, we're gonna get there. Looking forward to catching up with Josh Car 2 and all the other Wolfpack guys. I think we're in for a pretty good day ahead today. Hello. Hello. <laughs> So we're in the queue to get down to the grid, we're about to have to roll forward behind the P1, which is very cool. Just been uh, given a nice Scottish present, <laughs> which is cool. Um, it's absolute chaos here in Edinburgh. It's not usually surprising, but let's roll on down and see where we get to. How are you doing, buddy? You are <laughs> Get some gas, man! Get that gas, remember? Yes! Thank you very much. This is in intriguing. <laughs> Seems to be the way it goes here. You get gifts after gifts after gifts. Thank you. Thank you very much. There are not many words for how ridiculous it is here at the mound in Edinburgh. You can see all the cars loaded and there's a ridiculous line still coming in up there. Um, it's very nice for us being parked right behind the P1 here on the grid. But uh, this is absolutely insane. This is like Krakow last year in Poland, which was ridiculous. I can't imagine what London's going to be like, to be honest. Gun Hall is just absolutely mega. Wow, it's cool meeting so many people here as well. That's wicked. All the cars in Miami Vice theme, so all sorts of stripes and bright bits. Hey guys! But uh, just head down through the grid and take a look at what's going on here. These two together looking pretty cool. Cars are rolling out here from Edinburgh for the journey down to Manchester and needless to say it is absolute chaos. Just look at this, the crowd is like completely solid. Uh, cars up there. Yeah! <laughs> this is so cool. This is absolutely insane. Words, words barely begin to describe what's going on. Just check it out. Check it out. Hang out the roof. Already? Yeah, just a regular day, you know. Yeah, casual, <laughs> casual. Like it, like it. This car is Josh Cartoo's Ferrari F12. You might remember last year we got up to some seriously cool stuff. Well, Josh is back in this year with Team Wolfpack. We're going from Edinburgh here down to Miami. Josh is here though, so we're just going to have a few words. Josh, how's it going? Good to be back. How are you? Great. Back on the gumball, back for some more antics. I hear you've already been causing some trouble. Yeah, you know, you missed it. It was fantastic. We were sitting here with this t-shirt gun and shooting it at people and everybody was going absolutely mental. Well, the wolf mental. bag, yeah, I'm loving these when they're on. This they're is so crazy. Good. I mean, you saw them at night, obviously. Yeah, yeah, so. when, we're, when everyone's lighting up the streets and like loving that. Listen, night. it was madness earlier. You don't understand. I mean, it was crazy. Well, it's it's still crazy. Look at the crowds over here. I know, it's unbelievable. Edinburgh, it's like, it's like Krakow last year. It was like the highlight from the crowd. Point it is and here it's just mental. mayhem. Even at the hotel. Before. Yeah? Yeah. So you've been hitting Edinburgh for a few days before, right? Yeah, it was good. We were at Garrett's Hotel. It was a really, really good hotel. We had a good time. We were going good to the barkeep and everything. And yeah. really stupid. So, which part of this year's rally are you looking forward to most? Oh, the end. The, the end, getting to Ibiza, the parties. Course. It's going to be wild. Oh, it's going to be nuts. We've got a big boat there. We're going to bring yeah. a bunch of girls. Good stuff. Good it sounds, sounds like a good party. So, F12's F12, F12 back on the rally. It is. The wraps this year are awesome, the Wolfpack wraps. When you, uh, the, way, the way when you take photos, the colour just reflects back in your face is so good. We're trying to get the electroluminescent lighting package working. We had a little yeah. bit of issues here and there, but hopefully it's going to be lights on the car as well. So we're going to see all that in London tonight, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Good, good, good. Got it. Well, uh, looks good to me. Wolfpack's got some awesome cars, great guys. It's going to be a pretty awesome rally. I'm looking forward to what you've been up to. It's going to be wicked. <laughs> it's going to be nuts. Yeah, it's a uh, <laughs> Ready to head out? What's up, Shmi? Ready? Absolutely. Born ready. I know yeah. you. <laughs> We're going to do Manchester. We're going to try to make it. Good stuff. We'll oh, catch you on the road. You got it, man. Have fun. See you later.
so we're on the way. There are so many people here, it's absolutely bonkers. It's gonna be a long day because we're already two hours behind schedule just leaving Edinburgh here, but it's worth it. This is absolutely insane, absolutely insane. Guys, and that's how you get stopped in the middle of the road. Apparently, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, yeah, how are you doing? Of course, I can. Just somewhere there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't believe you actually came. Camera here. Wrapped, matched, wrapped in the same material as the car. All right, let me go. And that's how you cause mayhem, right? <laughs> guys, 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 steady on, steady on. Back up a little bit. That's right. One massive, massive selfie. Right, everyone look at the camera. Oh, gosh. <laughs> right, so Manchester is officially absolutely crazy. Guys, how, how's your day going? Awesome. Uh, but, uh, wow, we need to uh, get back on the road down towards London. So we're going to get back through the crowd. Yeah, it has to happen. Otherwise, they get there far too late. So we're going back down towards London and uh, on with the rest, try and catch up with the fat guys who just left. But uh, absolutely crazy. Thanks, everyone, here. It's awesome. Um, and on we go. We're approaching London, can't wait to get there. We've had a pretty standard drive from Manchester to here, three hours or so, so we've been on the road for nine hours today, I think. But, uh, and we made it before it closes. <laughs> people here apparently it was about 500,000 earlier but about 100,000 now because we are right at the end before the grid closes this is moderately insane it's ridiculous London is hey. <laughs> sitting here uh, trying to feed these people some t-shirts and uh, looks like uh, we're trying to raise a little hell here. You want to join me? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's, fucking, let's raise some hell, guys. <laughs> Oh, 
it's like the beginning of the day, the end of the day. Oh, well, thank you very much for watching it. This is moderately chaos, but quite entertaining. Uh, we need to go find Josh's t-shirt gun, because uh, he's been causing havoc. I hear an event door. And uh, thanks to my co-driver for bringing the champagne. It's a nice way to arrive. Wolfpack has arrived. So uh, how, how was arriving here? It was good. It was, felt like gumball. <laughs> it felt like gumball back in London. Exactly. Like it should. Yeah. Yeah. Fire in the hole! <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! All right then, a whistle stop tour. We're back in the grid. We've got the Wolfpack 458, this 458. Hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> Josh got to his F12, looking very neat. We've got loads of cars in town here in the square. It's been pretty wild around here. Things are quieting down now a bit for the night though. We've got to go back and get ready for tonight's party, which looks set to be absolutely immense. And uh, this is kind of boggling because there are so many cars I'm seeing here that I didn't even know were on the rally. Just new ones popping up, left, right and centre, seems to be the way it's done. But uh, wow, 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 what a reception in London, absolutely fabulous. Um, incredible day, not going to forget this in a hurry, so uh, I've seen most of it. Um, London is absolutely epic, I wonder what Paris has in store for us tomorrow. But for now, back off to the next gumball party, and then hopefully a bit of rest, because we didn't sleep much on the plane last night, I can tell you, and it's been a pretty wild day. Hi guys, today is the fourth of six driving days. We're firstly heading down to Dunsfold Park, the home of Top Gear, and then we're going to go from there over to Paris. So it's a shorter driving day, fortunately, only about six or seven hours today, including the Euro Tunnel crossing. So time to slightly relax. We're starting a little bit later than normal, but as you can probably see around me, the grid is kind of packed in here at London. Nobody really knows which way we're going to go out. So uh, I think we're pretty much right at the back ourselves over there. Uh, all the cars, the Wolfpack cars here, Josh Cartoon's F12 here, um, just sort of crammed in uh, two Brabus 6x6s here. Uh, we just go pretty much, I guess, for a quick tour because it's kind of, kind of fun seeing so many cars so squished in. Spiker over there. For those of you who have been following for a while, you might remember this was my old R8. Uh, it's now with bespoke VIP supercar rentals, so it's been uh, taken out on this year's rally. Tron black chrome event still looks absolutely wicked. Heading around. So the grid is set, the cars are heading out. Starting off with the RH AF8 there. Here the Brava 6x6 with his pilly slides running. Some of the cars have got underway already. We're going to jump in and go join them to the rest. We'll hopefully catch up. We're off to top gear from that here. Dunsfold picked up a new hat from the guys in the Bravas 6x6. We're at the runway, all the cars are heading out having fun. Looks like Dead Mouse is going up the runway next. That's a pretty cool place. Burger Bar, 
wings are on McLaren. We wanted to do 12C versus 650S just to see the difference, but unfortunately it looks like you can't zip in Bentley Continental there. But uh, yeah, they're not so keen on doing two cars together, but this is pretty cool. from Dunsfold. It's been a rather long wait, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. Hello. Haribo? That's rather nice. Thanks. Haribo delivered by 458. We do That's enjoy. That's the way we do it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was saying was uh, we're on our way from Dunsfold a bit later than we planned and now we're stuck in a traffic jam. We have finally made it to the Euro Tunnel. We had, I think, three really bad traffic jams and a little bit more. And it's taken us from Dunsfold top gear to here, um, roughly three hours, and it's supposed to be an hour and a half, so that just tells you how horrible this journey's been. Um, we're going in the wide bit of the Euro Tunnel. Always like doing that with supercars. It's lower and easier to get into, and you don't have to curb your wheels, because in a normal bit, you have literally an inch, maybe two on each side. They let us get straight to the front, then we got to passport control when we were giving the passports um, to the British guy. He said it was mandatory for cars to go through and they gave it a little blip, so we gave him a little blip. Then we got to the French side and he was asking if we had any stickers or key rings or stuff we could hand him. And uh, fortunately, uh, the master of speed guys had thrown in some caps our way earlier, so we gave him a cap. So, uh, passport control guys seem to rather like the Dumble, so that's a good start. Gonna get on the, uh, on the train and uh, fingers crossed, no problems. It's pretty much now onto the road and down towards Paris, which is always good fun. Just gotta not hit people standing in the middle of the road in the way. <laughs> uh, awesome. Hello. Right. Better late than never. <laughs> Hi Paris. You're very wet. This is absolutely freaking ridiculous. Um, the grid is just here. Unsurprisingly, with this, there are no, there's nobody here. Uh, and anybody who was here moments ago just bailed away. Um, I think we're going to have to avoid opening windows. Today has taken a little bit longer than we intended, but we're parked here in a rather awesome setting. Paris and the Eiffel Tower, and down there all of the gumball cars um, but hopefully tomorrow which is from Barcelona from here to Barcelona is going to be uh, a bit longer but more to plan um, but hey it's gumball weird things happen crazy things happen and you sort of deal with it and you get there and all is well <laughs> so at the end of the day it's all gone okay it is the fifth driving day of the Gumball 3000 2014. We're starting here in Paris. We arrived in a lot of rain last night, but today we're heading down to Barcelona via Circuit d'Albi in south of France. So we're going to be driving down with the Team Wolfpack guys and Josh, who is going to be having some fun on the track, I'm sure. It's all pretty busy here in Paris getting ready for the start. But uh, like I said, we came in late last night, so we're right down at the back. Ah. Co-driver Jason and Josh. Oh, you looking forward hey. to the track? Track day, gumball. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, whole thing. Yeah. How'd yeah. Go? How was yesterday? Oh my God. Listen, we were here and uh, Dead Mouse was over and we were shooting T-shirts at people and basically Joel wanted to actually shoot one of the kids in the head. <laughs> With the gun. Yeah, he, I said, I said, listen, you don't understand how how hard this thing shoots. He goes, no, 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 come on, we can just shoot somebody. It's not a big deal. Come on, come on, let's shoot that kid. I'm like, no, 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 you can't, you can't. He goes, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Put it up in the air, shoots it, shoots like 200 meters up in the air. The kids caught it. It was absolutely nuts. Everybody was going crazy. <laughs> so, what do you think of his car? <laughs> his rap choice. It's a little bit ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> 
listen, he definitely wins points for originality. Not what I would do to my own car, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool, like the custom logos and all the yeah. attention to detail. Yeah. I think that's the cool bit, is how far he's gone. But uh, we should pretty much hit the road and get on our way down to Barcelona. Yeah, we gotta get to One of the telepiage places where normally our dandy little beeper would you just drive through, bip, and go. Um, except they've closed them all and they've got four sections of telepiages open. They've got this four at the right, which is the telepiages and the cash tickets, and then four towards the left, which are credit cards. Now we can't see very much right now, but we're suspecting that means that they've done it so that they can monitor who's going through and it might be the case that there are some police on the other side. We're straight through but it looks like a number of the cars have been pulled over. We can see the Bet Safe team, Z4 GT3, the John Olsen's Rebellion is over there too, and the RS6. <laughs> I have a clue where we are, but a friend sent me a, a, um, an address on WhatsApp to go and try and find them because um, they're at a petrol station somewhere. So we followed the address and we ended up somewhere that was clearly wrong. And so we asked them for a pin, they sent us a pin, and now we're driving around a dirt, down a dirt track, which is quite fun. And let's review the McLaren while we're here. It's supposed to have very soft suspension, and I have to say, on a road like this, it has very soft suspension. Not bad. Uh, some bumps, bump, 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 bumps. No, but it's not bad. It could be a lot worse. Like, from it, I, I think this is softer than if I was driving my Arbath here, and certainly than if I was driving my old Mini down here, which had a very, very hard ride. Uh, we're gonna go through a little tunnel. That was epic. <laughs> um, we wanted to go on this slip road. Open out? No, no, it's tempting, but Let's no. Let's just open out.
was cool. This guy's even had on the window that they wanted to show me 150 t-shirt. I think they probably get one, but we've got to find them. But they just got a Wolfpack t-shirt, car to car, so that's kind of cool too. separated from the pack. Yes, yes, he has been detained. What do you think the reception's gonna be like? I have absolutely no idea, because it's not, it's not in the city center, so it's not the easiest place to get to. But then it's Gumball and you see people on all the bridges, everywhere. Well, I find that like, places like Italy, Spain, Eastern Europe, people get more crazy about cars and go yeah. a lot more. They're just more into it, you know? They're rarer, they're more exciting, they're... Yeah, just th that's what I think. I think that the reception is probably going to be epic. I think it's going to be excellent. Just because, you know, Latin people in general get super, like, pumped up and excited. Mm. And, uh, well, I don't know. We will see soon enough. Yeah. It's going to be good. So, yeah, so we're we're here. Here. Nearly in Barcelona. It's been a good day. Uh, I look like I got some sleep in the car. So, ready to party in Barcelona tonight. Can't wait. I see, I saw a bit Long ride, man. Long ride. Tony! That's dedication. How's it going? We also have got the Shimi t shirt. Yeah? And we've just been waiting for you. How's it going, guys? Hi there. Want some t shirts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we pulled up in the grid, come find me again. Because I got it, it's all packed. Who wants a t-shirt? 
Wolfsburg! is finally dwindling down here. Lots of fun there with Josh firing the t-shirts again. Team Wolfpack making a stir and having a lot of fun. But what another long day. But we're here, W Hotel for sale out here looking pretty awesome as well. So we're gonna go in, get a little bit chilled out, ready for the evening. Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up? <laughs> nice, nice video, Bob. <laughs> but uh, yeah, crazy day. Loads of fans here in Barcelona. What an arrival, that was absolutely crazy. London was the bit biggest, most people. <laughs> I can see it coming. Ricard from Argentina. From Argentina. <laughs> but uh, London was absolutely crazy. How's it going, guys? <laughs> but um, London was the craziest in terms of number of people, but Barcelona has been something completely different, absolutely mental. I'm going to go back now to the car to get my stuff out and go inside. We're in the Gumball garage where it's absolutely boiling, but I just wanted to introduce you to some people. These guys Hi. <laughs> made the effort of, well, the shirts. <laughs> they put some stickers on their car and they came and found us on the autopista on the way in towards Barcelona. Um, so thanks guys, <laughs> thanks for your support, thanks for coming out, thanks for... Uh... Make sure you subscribe to V150 and follow him. Cheers! <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Cheers. doing your job. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys. Um, enjoy the t-shirts. Yes. Okay. Well, the other, yeah, the other ones too. The gumball yeah. ones. <laughs> but, um, got, yeah, those ones. Yes. <laughs> we got the ones from the team Wolf yeah. as well. Yeah, good effort. Great. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> but, uh, we'll go and look at a couple of the cars up here in the garage. But it's pretty awesome just looking around, seeing quite so many cool cars in one place. Gumball, isn't it? It's absolutely wicked. Uh, we've only got one more day left now. Off to Ibiza in the morning. Couldn't resist parking the 12C next to the P1. But looking forward to that last day. Um, so it's time, I think, to go and get some rest and get ready for tomorrow. Good morning, it's quite late on the final day. We're a little bit late starting this morning, but we're off to Ibiza. So we've got a four and a half hour drive down to Denia where we catch a ferry. A bunch of the gumballers still need to get out of bed, as you can see, but uh, I'm sure they will in due course. And we'll get on our way, we'll try and catch the Wolfpack guys. We're going to get a head start so we can go fill up and have some breakfast. And, uh, it's time to go hit the road and see what it's like out there. happened is he made a stop so the other policeman could take a photo of the car literally just made a stop waited for the photo they were looking at each other took the photo and then waved us off that's what just happened Spain you confuse the daylights out of me so much some love us some, some hate us yeah anyway it was like we haven't done anything wrong yet there are these police cars following us what the heck oh my god this country. I think from here to Tanya we're gonna be taking this quite easy but we have, the thing is is we have to go fast though to make our ferry so it's like That's what true. can we do we are running a bit late um, do we miss the ferry or do we speed and get tickets if we get tickets we miss the ferry <laughs> exactly we're, in a, we're, not, we're, in, we're not gonna win on this uh oh.
here. Quick breath, Liza. Yep, uh, that way. Yes. You. Yep. When I when I say we yes, we went no party last night. Right. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Cut. Thank you. All is well with the world, so we're back on the road. Nothing like a quick check then. I swear though, even when we've just been cruising, because we're not in the mood for getting a ticket, we've got this far through the rally and up to now, nothing has gone wrong. Um, I still get really, really panicky because it just feels like you're doing something wrong. You're the outlaw, you're running from the police, cat and mouse, all that rubbish. <laughs> I don't even know, so we saw a police bike pull out. We haven't been speeding at all. Now we're sat behind wondering what's going on. And I guess the only thing time is gonna tell. So after all of that, it seems we were actually pulled over by mistake and they were going again for our friends in the 458 behind us. So we've basically been pulled in and we're going straight out. Uh, a couple more police cars pulling cars over. I think this is probably average speed stuff. I think they're probably getting people who have been uh, going through the tolls really fast. But like I said, we have not been speeding. So the fact that we got pulled over was quite a shock to me. But uh, we're rolling out now. I think it's all clear. Catch a quick glance of what's going on behind us. The car's pulled over. being overtaken but what you're probably noticing is that it's the same cars every time and do that get busted do it again get busted again do it again get busted again and it's happening over and over again our strategy of just sitting here chilling out and trying to get to the ferry doesn't actually seem to be harming us at all and it's kind of funny to watch um, and if we hadn't been pulled up and pulled over incorrectly we'd actually be further ahead but uh, everyone's getting a little bit nervous because the ferry check-in has actually already closed and we're still half an hour away. Um, but if it's anything like previous years, it will probably get hold, held a little. We hope it gets held a little, otherwise we're in trouble. But uh, we do know that there are a good number of cars behind us, so it should be okay. It's entertaining to watch nonetheless. Well, we're approaching the final toll booth. Uh, and there was a car uh, hiding in the bushes just back, which we had the door open and a radar gun out. So my guess is that when we get round here to the toll booth, uh, we have no idea whether this is actually the case or not. There are probably going to be quite a few cars and quite a few police. <laughs> Lots of police. <laughs> this is going to be funny. There are loads of police here. So they looks like they are literally pulling over every single car here. Lots of people got pulled over. We didn't. We've been cruising. We've said that enough times. Um, they just checked our registration, checked my driving license, um, and then let us go. But uh, another hold up, keeping everyone back. We've only got 10 minutes to go. Hopefully from here to the ferry there are no more issues. Let's just get there now. How are you doing? We made it indeed, it's called Sea 
a good number of people around here. Uh, nice entrance as always, Jason, standing up on the roof there. But uh, yeah, just in a yeah. queue to check in, hopefully make the ferry. And then, uh, We're on the boat, we'll be quick with the filming. Unfortunately, it looks like we're completely far from the way in, so I'm going to have to get out of the I'm trying to avoid looking at it right now. The cars are all loading up. So we made it on, it looks like everybody's alright. Fingers crossed all is well. Alright, we're all on the boat, just about to get off. Caught up with Josh again, the F12's parked up here. I hear it was a bit of a rush to get on here. Well, it was, yeah. uh, it was ridiculous. It was flying, absolutely <laughs> flying. And uh, we kept getting pulled over. It was so funny because in the beginning, I told the whole Wolfpack, I said, listen, we got two choices, okay? First thing we can do is we can drive 140 all the way, and I've got enough range in my tank. I said, anybody else? Yeah. I'm like, check, check, check. I said, okay, we can do that, or we can, or we can gumball. <laughs> it's getting pretty warm in here. Engine's running, everybody getting ready to get off. For that very last, very, very, very last little bit of drive over to Ibiza. So we're on Ibiza, we're halfway through our giant 20 minute drive and it looks like every single car is being pulled over, standard stuff here. Um, I didn't really tell you very much yet, at first we thought it was just us for misbehaving but uh, it looks like everybody's here so we'll find out in due course. Well, they just let us go. Uh, we just waved, got waved on, so stop, waved on. I guess there were too many cars in the area, they were pulling people over and off we went. Uh, it's waiting for the other wolves to catch us up. They're still back down this road. Uh, we'll just crawl down and chill out. We're nearly at the finish line. Just had to grab a cheeky photo for Instagram. Uh, just about there, just about there. 3,000 miles. That's what I'm talking about. Celebremos. Up in the house, the little pool. What a beautiful vehicle. You got it. We're here. Finally done. Hello. What's up? What's up, boy? Yes, sir. How are you doing, baby? Very good. How are you? Beautiful. Nice to see you here on my beach. Thank you for having us. Amazing. That's what I'm talking about. 3,000 miles. 3,000 smiles. Represents me. Line 
the 2014 Gumball 3000 in Ibiza. Miami to Ibiza in seven days. The cars are rolling in. It's been an epic adventure. We went from Miami, Atlanta, New York, and the cars and people flew over to Scotland, Edinburgh, London, Paris, Barcelona, and now we're here in Ibiza. There have been many speeding tickets, many confiscated driving licenses. Dubai represent A E E of the place Cup 46. Yes, sir. Allow it. Allow it. 42. Oh, that's young. Oh, good. Stick that in your pocket. Good? Blessings. Super free. The party team. Yes, sir. One, two, three. the earlier ferry unfortunately they will be here later tonight but that's it for right now all the cars are arriving here in Ibiza Double 2014 we're off for the final night party now and see who wins this year's spirit of Gumball but, uh, that's it for now I'll catch up with you again very soon cheers please raise your voice and salutations let the feeling be felt and welcome Senor Supremo Senor Maximilian Cooper yeah. Thank you, Miguel. How is this gumball? Yeah. Yeah. Miami to Ibiza in seven days. Can you believe it? Yeah. Who can actually remember setting off from Ocean Drive just last Thursday? It's kind of crazy, yeah? What a week. Okay, so the next award. <laughs> this award is the, uh, the Gumball Team Award. Now, over the years, obviously, uh, originally, people just used to enter, they drive their car, it was just their names. Over the years, people have started putting teams together and, 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 uh, and creating more, more energy around that. Now, I don't really need to say too much more about this one, because I think you're going to agree that the best team award this year has to go to none other than the Wolf Pack. when we present this uh, Spirit of the Gumball Award this year. Can I also invite last year's Spirit of the Gumball Award winners, right. Team Galact, to the stage. It's very hard to single out anybody as doing uh, even, even more greater things. Uh, Gareth Woods, please give him a cheer for everything. Gareth's done. Give him some kindness throughout the rally. He raised the most amount of money to go into pole position in Ocean Drive. Um, we work with a, a great charity in the UK as well, which are going to take children to Lapland in, in November. So I really thank Gareth and, uh, and everything you put in this year. It's been fantastic. So thank you. Yeah, please, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you the Spirit of the Gumball yeah. 2014 16th edition goes to Ted Mouse. This is a, these are first time gumballers. Honestly, they embraced the rally in the way that I intended it from day one. 
they did every checkpoint, I think every party, they, they, uh, they, they got in a bit of trouble, but not too much trouble. Um, just fantastic support, and, and, uh, and obviously I'd also like to thank Joel for uh, performing at a couple of the parties and really adding to the energy this year. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's pretty heavy guys, but this is your trophy. Oh, yeah. Here we are then, the final party last night was absolutely fantastic. We've got another pool party tonight before Max and Eve's wedding this weekend which is going to be fantastic but what a rally this has been we started in Miami a week ago and now we're here in Ibiza on the way we went from Miami up to Daytona then we went to the stop at Atlanta before we went to the NASCAR Hall of Fame in Charlotte then to New York then all of the cars boarded the plane we boarded Gumball Air and we flew to Glasgow we then drove into Edinburgh fantastic reception in Edinburgh drove down through Manchester to London the crowds in London were absolutely insane there were so many people there then from London we came in into via Top Gear, the Dunsville Park track, to Paris, Paris down to Circuit d'Albi before Barcelona. The crowds in Barcelona were absolutely mental. Then we had the final drive with a lot of police down to Denia before we came over into Ibiza on the ferry. Great reception here at the finish line and it's fantastic being here. The weather's absolutely gorgeous. We've actually had good runs with the weather this year. Last year it was not so good, but uh, we've managed to get through with no tickets. We've been pulled over quite a few times, but no tickets is always fantastic. Last year we picked up a few. I'm sure next year we'll get a few more, but we've got some good tactics clearly to, uh, to get through. But uh, we've had a lot of fun running with Team Wolfpack, the guys I've known from the last few rallies. And this year, the fantastic team that won the best team of the Gumball. So uh, the guys put in so much effort and we're giving away so much stuff. Josh Cartu in particular, lighting up the crowds everywhere we stop, firing out t-shirts with his gun, getting told off by the police for doing so. But having so much fun, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Well, uh, yeah, it's been amazing. Some amazing cars on this year's rally. The P1 right here from Team Galag. The Wolfpack wraps were all absolutely phenomenal too. Um, it's just been absolutely insane. We had so much fun driving with the Wolfpack, sticking together as a group of cars, driving tight, Josh lead, leading the charge with his F12. And uh, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. As we've been going, we've also been doing the Gumball YouTube Heroes challenges, posting the videos there, dealing, doing some nice stuff with the sponsors, getting up to some crazy, crazy stuff. Pritchard, Burnout, yeah, don't ask. That was, that was ridiculous. Uh, Air Hostess Tag. Um, playing around with the different cars, the Arbath Biposto, 695 Biposto, just generally some ridiculous antics. But all in all, this has been a truly mind-bogglingly awesome experience. Uh, Gumball always is. And being here on the finish line in Ibiza is really quite special. All the cars looking brilliant out of here in the sun, getting looked at, attracting attention, and just absolutely immense, really absolutely immense. Um, just head down towards my car resting up here hopefully grab a few words from my co-driver when we get there but uh it's it's mind-boggling um gumball 3000 is such a family event experience everybody's so close you're going through this insane endurance event together you know you're going 3,000 miles in six driving days it's really intense we had a 16 hour drive from atlanta up to new york before we got on a plane slept for about an hour if you're lucky and then you drive the like nine or ten hour drive down to london so you're going through so much you're so exhausted but you're so pumped up on the adrenaline as you go that the whole thing sort of happens anyway here's jason i think we've really catch we haven't really caught up since we were in a well on camera for a while but, it's been a while we've just been filming like frantically but we've, i think this year we've nailed it we've done very very well um i don't know we kind of We've done a lot of good things this year. Um, we've driven 3,000 miles together. I just want to personally say I really appreciate everything we've been through. We've done a lot. People don't under understand when they're, when you're on this rally, you do so much together. You're in a car with each other for 3,000 miles. And we've just had an absolute blast. We've been filming, we've been going fast, we've been going slow, we've been doing everything. So between Tim and I, I think we've had some good moments. And uh, the conversations that we'll have for the rest of our life is um, it's going to be incredible. So like, 
this is our second year together and uh, we can't I'm wait sure it's not the last. It's not the last. <laughs> it's, it's definitely, definitely not, definitely la not the last. last. So, so big shout out to Tim for, for taking good care of me and uh, we've had a great time. So I appreciate it. Thank you for being along. Well, uh, yeah, obviously the car we've been in, McLaren. Off to get a service, get cleaned up and looked after after this. It's pretty intense what you put the cars through. But done it without a hitch, absolutely fantastic. I'm a big fan of this car now. Uh, I'm happy since I bought it, but even more so now when you've been through something like this. Comfortable, good space, storage, all of that. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much time to go start chilling out. We're going to find out later what next year's route is going to be, but I'm pretty sure you can be certain we're going to be there filming it all from the event as we always do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. <coughs> Make sure you obviously subscribe for all of the future events. But that's it for right now. Thank you very much again, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheers.